magic. In this video, I want to show you how to prepare the color of the framework. We developed framework staining in Matisse uh, software. And with framework staining, you will get a precise staining recipe to, to stain the framework in a certain color. So first thing what we need to do is we need to connect OptiShade to our mobile phone. So we connect the cable to our mobile phone. Okay, then we click on the OptiShade uh, mobile app icon. If you don't have OptiShade, you can download it for free in the App Store. To start working with OptiShade, I have to switch it on, right? So I have to click three seconds on the button and then release it. Okay, so now I click on calibrate and the device will be calibrated. Okay, OptiShade is now switched on. If I want to make a picture, I go to measure. So you see on the left side, there is a uh, yellow button which is unnamed, right? So these are, these are actually the folders. So I can select the patient from here. For the purpose of the video, I will use test because I created the test case. I remove the, um, the calibration cap and I need my aesthetic model, which I created. Important step with framework staining is that you always put some liquid in the framework because we want that the preparation color is influencing the color of the framework because that's important for the staining recipes. So you can use any glaze liquid. So you put it on the, in the framework. And then on the aesthetic model. So the next step is to make a photo with OptiShade of the framework on the static model. So what's important when you use OptiShade is that the, the left and right side is touching the neighbor teeth. So OptiShade should touch, um, so you should lean against the neighbor teeth, right? So the left side should touch the tooth and the right side. And this is giving you the right distance. Another thing, another tip, always use your left hand to close um, light entering in the image. So you, you should block the light with your, left, uh, with your left hand. So what is the right position? The tooth should be in the middle of the screen, right? So not like this or not like this, right? So it should be in the middle of screen. So what, you, what I always do is I first touch, position it against the neighbor teeth and then I rotate and find the right inclination for the position. Once I found the uh, position, I click here on the button and it will make a picture. Okay, so I made a picture here. So the next step is to share these pictures with Matisse. So what you can do, so if you want to share one picture with Matisse, you can click here on this window and you have these three uh, options here, share, share Matisse and export to Matisse. So Share, if you click on share, these files that are shared can only be opened in OptiShade mobile app. Share Matisse and export to Matisse can be only opened in Matisse software. So I want to open it in Matisse, so I click on share Matisse. And I can, I can uh, choose AirDrop and share it with my uh, MacBook Pro, for example. But in this case, I don't want to share only one picture. I want to share multiple pictures. For that, to, to do that, we need to go back. Click on a gallery, select the patient, so in this case it's test. Click on edit, select the images that I want to share, and then again I can share the pictures from this screen. Share Matisse, AirDrop, and then MacBook Pro. The next thing that I have to do is to open the picture that I just sent to myself in Matisse software. So I click here on the plus icon and I select the image. So to use the framework uh, staining, you need the target tooth and 
the framework on the aesthetic model. So you need two pictures. So then we go to get recipe and we go to framework staining. So the next thing is to select the stains that you want to use, right? So we will use GC Spectrum. For every zone, there are three inputs required. The available space for ceramic layering, target color and framework on aesthetic model. So the first thing is available space for ceramic layering. So how much space do I have for ceramic? Cervically 0.8. And then with this color picker, target color, I measure the target color cervically. I do the same thing for middle, one millimeter, target color in the middle. And then for the incisal, target color. So now I switch to the picture framework on a static model. I will do the same thing, but now with the other color picker, framework on a static model. We start with cervical, then middle, and then incisal. So these are the staining recipes for my framework. So what you, for example, see is a staining target in LAB. So that is the color after staining it. So I have to stain and then measure with OptiShade and achieve this, um, this LAB numbers. And we are focusing on the A and B. So the A and B is the chroma, right? The red and the yellow. So after applying the stains, the A and B should be the same as as uh, Matisse is advising it. And the luminosity should be the same or higher. Then we have staining intensity here. So that is the approximate thickness of the stains and the recipe. So SPS1, SPS5 and the ratio 1, 1. The same thing for, uh, for middle and incisal. Okay, so this is the recipe. Now I will prepare the stains and then I will apply it on my framework. So I need SPS1, SPS5 for cervical, then I need SPS1, SPS6 for middle, so use a, a specially designed portioner for stains because we don't need um, a big amount, right? And then we just measure, we just take the ratio, so one time SPS1, one time SPS5. Okay, now we are going to stain. So make sure that there is liquid in the framework, right? Uh, because it should touch the, the preparation color. And then we just stain the given recipes, cervically, middle and incisal. And incisely, nice depth. To know if we did it correctly, we have to use OptiShade and measure this uh, stains on the framework again. So I go back to OptiShade, I switch it on again. And this is great because now you can basically make some correction and immediately see the color. It's like uh, seeing the color in the real time. Again, I go to measure. I select the right patient. And I will make my picture again. Okay, picture is taken. So now to verify if I did the step correctly, I have to look at the LAB numbers that Matisse has advised and compare it with LAB numbers that are measured in OptiShade. So for example, cervically, so you can move this, this spot, right, cervically. And so here on the left side, you see the LAB numbers and the LAB numbers should match 
with the LAB numbers that Matisse is advising. So it's a very fast way to verify if you did it correctly. And you focus on the A and B values, which is the color. So if I look at cervic cervical area, I am 3.9 red and Matisse is advising uh, 4.29 and the yellow is 8.6, but Matisse is advising 15.9. So I can, I can use the same staining recipe and maybe put it a little bit thicker to increase the, the B value, which is yellow. So let's look at the middle area. So middle area 1.7, it's 1.7 in the Matisse advice as well. And the yellow is 10.8 and uh, Matisse advice 9. So we are very close. Middle area is perfect actually. So let's look at incisal. Incisal area 0 0.8, also 0 0.8 in the recipe, and then 6.6, .6, and I have 6.8 in, um, uh, in the yellow. So middle and incisal are perfect, but only the cervical I have to make it a little bit more uh, intense to increase the yellow, and then we are fine. So I just quickly apply a little bit more. And I can check again. So, so OptiShade is still connected. So to start the camera again, I just click on the button again here or there and the camera starts to work. So I made a small correction and I can quickly check if the color is perfect. So we increase the yellow cervically and now we are 137 and the advice was 15.9 so we are very close to the yellow this small differences is fine we are very close to the matisse staining advice so you're allowed to be two to three points off with the staining uh, on the a and b and the luminosity which is the brightness should be um, the same or one to two points higher with this step it just to give the framework the right direction of the color and the dentin recipes will do the rest actually. So we are now done with the framework staining step. The next step will be the dentin layering. See you then. Matisse works like magic.